Thing making a lot of noise on the Capitol, the long-awaited audit of that purchase of a lectern by Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders in her office, it dropped this afternoon. The 68-page report lays out the findings of the months-long investigation by the Arkansas Legislative Audit. It details the $19,000 purchase made by the governor's office in June of 2023. The ALA found that the cost of the lectern, case, and shipping all were reasonable. But auditors could not determine if $2,500 in consulting fees to the vendor, Beckett Events, was reasonable. The ALA couldn't reach the vendor for questioning after making several attempts. The audit also noted several, quote, areas of potential noncompliance with state law. They include the governor's office using improper state funds to pay for the lectern and a staff member shredding the bill of delivery. The report also addresses potential noncompliance in the handling of the so-called reimbursement by the Republican Party of Arkansas late last year. The ALA also makes several recommendations for the governor's office, including retaining all original documents related to the purchase and delivery of goods, following code when disposing of state property, or in this case, reimbursing the cost, and ensuring public records are not altered, which happened on an invoice. Now, Governor Sanders is vigorously denying the allegations. She did so in a section called managerial response. Auditors also wrote that the report's been, quote, forwarded to the 6th Judicial District Prosecuting Attorney and the Attorney General. But the Attorney General supported arguments made by the governor in that response. Prosecutor Will Jones posted on social media that he would review the file and would not comment further. The Legislative Joint Audit Committee does is set to review the findings in a committee meeting tomorrow. They'll go before lawmakers. These are just some of the main points from the report that we've had now about 90 minutes to look at. We'll have an in-depth report coming up later, and you can read the report right now on THV11.com.